Uh, my name is Pirko Konsa. I'm um, CEO of uh, Tallinn Science Park. And um, uh, kind of conclude this first uh, session, I just wanted to give kind of um, our overview on, uh, on, on a situation where we have um, quite a lot, lot of uh, interesting startups, but uh, how to put um, together this kind of the world of microcredit and, and the world of, uh, of new, new ventures, ventures and startups. Um, we have been working with uh, Swedbank and uh, also with Credex many years and um, kind of have been in the middle of discussions uh, how, to, how to do it. But uh, maybe just to, just to kind of give a our understanding what what is a science park and um, what is our role and uh, and then I kind of try to 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 look on on the issue of um, uh, issue of uh, how to how to finance innovation. Um, the role of science park is actually to create the infrastructure or space and on the top of the space to, to create the right community. And then we need to hope that in some moment some in innovation will happen. And as you know, the innovation is not a controlled linear process, but this is uh, more um, uh, the question of how, how you create uh, this kind of the right atmosphere, which consists uh, then from the space and the community. Um, until now, we have been quite a lot um, for startups uh, who are involved in uh, IT mainly. Uh, uh, most of them are in web or, uh, or mobile solutions like, uh, like tap tenderies. Uh, we are working here quite hard at the moment to, to build also infrastructure to have more startups on other areas where maybe the innovation process and, and uh, time to market is a bit longer. And, uh, and the environment, what you need. I mean here also laboratories or uh, knowledge uh, is more deeper. Um, we, we are working at the moment in, in the field of mechatronics, for example, to have a new innovation center to, which is fully automized um, for, uh, and, uh, and gives an opportunity for startups also to, to have a possibility to, with a quite favorable price, to, to make a rapid prototyping. By favorable pr uh, price, I mean that it does not mean that we have to subsidize it. But the new technology, actually, which coming on the market is um, much, much more flexible than, than the present, present uh, technologies. But anyway, um, if we look at uh, the ecosystem in Estonia, uh, I think what is um, uh, what is a problem is that uh, actually there is kind of um, valley or um, valley of death also between uh, capital and uh, advice uh, activities. Um, and this is, I think, uh, what, what we also tackle here because actually, as, as you know, um, probably from your experience also, that there are, there are not so many good solutions. But uh, just to mention some, 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 some things, uh, what we have just solved. But uh, if, uh, here we have many, many activities which are on education and, and awareness and idea testing. But there is no capital provided. We have a small innovation grant which you can use, which a startup can use for using uh, services of the universities or a patent office. But it is not uh, usually where startup has much more flexible or more uh, kind of fle flexible needs than, than just uh, uh, three and a half thousand euro kind of a ticket to go to the patent lawyer or to the university. Um, and on, on the other side, we have startup loan, uh, Credex has convertible loan, we have different grants. But the problem is actually that. Um, the demands here are pretty high. And the problem actually, what, what we see is at the moment is that the, the period of prototyping, like, like the, with the case of tap tender, is actually the, 
the biggest challenge for startups. And, and the, on, the, on the other side, I think the case of tap tender is in, in that sense a, a bit exceptional. That um, uh, I think uh, Credex, uh, we, we, we have this uh, Credex, uh, our incubator, uh, has uh, had a kind of long, long period of presenting this idea. And I think it is in kind of a test idea, and I really hope in November <laughs> we, we, we don't, uh, don't, don't see it as a failure. But, but the issue is that for, a, I, uh, for the credit, credit world, the problem is that they cannot just look on the Excel, which is seeing a kind of very positive future. But what is, what is a kind of the ground where they can rely? And my feeling is that actually there should be some kind of integration. What kind of model, I don't know yet, but there should be some kind of integration between incubator or accelerator programs uh, and, um, and uh, capital providers. And I believe also that um, it is not uh, always the investment which is the best way to, to finance, uh, uh, finance new, new ideas. The loan is also good, even so it should be paid back, but uh, I think investors want the money back also. So I think what startup incubators can uh, do or, um, uh, or what other incubators can do is actually to lower the risk uh, for the creditors uh, by, by that, that they know the company much more deeper. But uh, should it be the way that uh, the incubator will issue in the name of some organization alone? Or what kind of the cooperation? It is not clear yet. What we recently done, uh, did also, we, um, we just a few weeks ago, we launched a, a fund called Prototron in, with the cooperation of uh, Swedbank. And this is uh, donated money. Uh, Swedbank donated uh, uh, 120,000 euros for three years uh, in the fund to, to give a grant or a kind of a, uh, yes, a grant to, to startups to make the first real prototype. And uh, the idea is that if, if they can make the prototype, maybe they are also more um, kind of trustworthy for um, for uh, banks to, to, to issue or not to issue the loan, or for the Credex, who is, I, I totally agree, the, giving the startup uh, guarantee or startup loan is, um, is a very, very risky business. And I hope also that the state will kind of um, make a decision which is an acceptable rate of uh, failure. I think this is, um, this is one issue also where with the um, with, um, with this kind of programs, that uh, the state should accept that they will lose some of capital, what they have put this, in this uh, type of schemes. But what is, the, what is a share? I think this is kind of the agreement what, what incubators and the other uh, or, um, organizations like Scredex and maybe banks should do, because then it is also clear for a system. But I believe, yes, that um, what, what, what could be a kind of a new, new approach is actually to involve uh, this kind of incorporator process, which mainly is uh, advising or, or finding right mentors for the startups, also mixing it with the capital. So, uh, because I think the incubator has much, much more inf information about the company than, uh, than uh, the, the, the bank is capable to have ever, especially in a situation when, when bank uh, only sees a client in the moment where, where uh, they, they, they receive the application. Usually in an incubator, the business plan, the business model is uh, discussed much, much, much longer time before the capital is uh, taken on the board. So this is uh, what we are discussing at the moment, and I, I really hope that um, we, we, we find a, a good solution because 
why I believe the loan is uh, better is that loan is much more flexible. Uh, it is easier to issue. It is easier to um, manage. Uh, and in a risky business, sometimes I think uh, the, this, uh, uh, the lower cost of uh, management of the portfolio is very important. Because making an investment of 10 or 20,000 euros uh, and making very difficult and complex uh, shareholders agreement, uh, agreements, I think they, they make this kind of system not very flexible again. And, that, and it will end up again that only few companies are kind of eligible or um, uh, kind of uh, suitable for this type of schemes. Okay, this is I wanted to just to, to mention. Um, I really, on the 15th of September, we will see what are the applicants in our fund. Uh, most probably, we want to attract some other big companies to the fund. And then we want to, to think how to, how to connect uh, uh, the ideas which are getting kind of ready prototype, how to mix mentoring with, with the finance. Uh, is it uh, Estonian Development Fund, which is uh, a venture capital fund, or is it the Credex, which is um, um, uh, a grant, uh, guarantee foundation, or is it Enterprise Estonia, which are issuing uh, startup grants? How to f mix it with a mentoring process? With, with whom? I think this is a challenge. What we solve, uh, want to solve in coming one year or one and a half year? Okay, thank you.